It's so cool, the ice on the trees. You tell me you're scared. You tell me you're weak. But I know you're stronger. Gosh, it's so bright. I can't even look at you guys. My eyes are really sensitive to sun. You wanna come over here, CG? Come here. Come here. Oh, where'd you come from? I thought you were in the barn. Hi, CG. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. A snowy tundra, beautiful tundra. It's actually only 37 degrees out. So this beautiful snow is all going to melt soon. But I have been pretty absent over on YouTube and social media in general over the past, I don't know, a few months, over the winter. And there's a reason why. There's definitely a reason why. And I'm not necessarily ready to open up about all of that and share all of that with you guys. But I did just want to be honest about where I'm at and let you in um, to just why I've been less present here and give you some insight so that you can get to know me better and kind of understand a little bit more what this season of life is like for me. So I wanted to like walk around and talk about it, but it's so bright. I cannot see, I can't open my eyes. So it is February 9th today and that means we're getting ready to start planning the garden and think about the growing season and you know all that farm stuff as the farm comes to life. I'm like trudging through really deep snow right now. It snowed like a foot last week. We'll go walk somewhere where I don't have to squint so much. Everything's starting to melt so you can just hear all the crackling in the background. I'm just gonna go hang out, hang on the front porch and chat, chat with you guys. Okay. I'm hanging out here on our front porch on the swing. And I just wanted to share with you guys how I'm feeling right now and explain a little bit why I haven't been quite as present on YouTube or social media. And that's because right now, as much as I love our life on the farm and we have a visitor, I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> He's looking through the window. As much as I love the farm and our animals and the garden, right now my heart just isn't there. It's not in gardening and being outside and being on the farm. My heart is just kind of invested in some other things right now. And so it's been really hard for me to get motivated to share with you guys farm life because I'm just invested in other things emotionally and mentally. So, and that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop homesteading or that I'm gonna stop, we're gonna move or we're gonna stop gardening. We're gonna keep doing those things, but it's hard to share those things when my heart's not in it as much. I'm still committed to to um, sharing the process with you guys and um, you know, I'll be starting onions this week and I'll document that and show you guys that experience and we are expanding our orchard this year, and so I'm excited to take you on that journey. And I know as soon as like food comes from the garden, it's gonna be exciting, and hopefully it like re-inspires me and I get back into it. Right now there's just other personal things going on that make it hard to focus on farm. So part of that is we experienced a loss in my family, and my family's all in California and that just made me feel really isolated out here in New York and really just want to be there and so that makes me feel like 
you know, what's the whole point of being on a farm and being on a homestead if you're far away from your family, which is so important. So that's been hard. Um, my sister just had a baby and my sister and I are super close. I got to be there for the delivery and I got to be there for um, the first week of her life and that was really beautiful and her little sweet baby Sage is the most precious little thing. And I really miss her and so being away from, from my family in that essence has been really hard as well. They're out in San Diego and I just feel like my heart is just being pulled towards family and relationships right now and it's just less motivated by gardening and homesteading and I know for so many of you this might be your dream life and um, it's hard for you to imagine why I'm acting ungrateful for these things and I, I really don't mean to be I am very grateful but at the end of the day I hope this is a reminder that you know those dreams aren't everything and that so much of what matters in life are relationships and people and family and when those things feel far away or those things are are on your heart it's hard to pay attention to anything else so i wanted to share you share with you guys where i'm feeling in that sense because honestly i'm not going through the highest high right now my emotions are pretty low and i'm not I'm okay with that. I know all seasons of life come with different emotions and different experiences and I feel very much that this is the season of life that God is wanting me to be in so that I can trust Him and rely on Him for, for my joy and my contentment and also trust that He has me here for a reason. But it is just the honest truth is that I'm going through like a season of like sadness and emotion. It's not of like light and fun and let's go garden. And that's the kind of stuff that people want to see on YouTube. So when I'm feeling this way, it's it's hard to sit down and just make a video. Like, let's go see the chickens or I'm going to start seeds today. And um, I'm not the type of person that can um, fake it and not fake it, but I'm not the type of person who can just like turn off my emotions and make them positive. So. Anywho, I'm a firm believer that sad emotions are good emotions too. Not only happy emotions are good. So I'm okay with my sad emotions. I don't need pity. I don't need like sympathy. I'm okay with feeling this way. Um, but it is hard to share that with you guys and let you in because I don't know that that's something that you want to see. With that being said, just wanted to be honest so you have a little bit more understanding why I've been more absent. And I hope to let, really let you guys into everything that's going on in the future um, to help you understand but right now that's kind of where I'm at but I hope you're experiencing a lot of joy and beauty and excitement we're about to tap our maple trees and start that process for the year we are going to be following Morgan at um, Goldshaw Farms process for how he boiled down his sap and Chris ordered the supplies last week so that's exciting I started artichokes the other day and I documented that in a video and I saw the first one just sprouted. Guess there's good stuff happening, definitely, and I'm not oblivious to that. But there's also, my heart is yearning and aching for something that is not here at the farm. And I can't have here at the farm. And that's just something I'm coping with. And moving right now is just not what I'm feeling called to. I'm just feeling like... We're supposed to be here. We're supposed to be across the country from my family. We're supposed to be in this this phase of life, um, but it's a hard phase, and I'm just gonna allow myself to feel it. And I know that the happy phase will come, and that will be fun to share with you guys as well. So, yeah, that's all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being supportive in all phases of my journey um, of our farm life. Thank you guys. I'll see you soon.